the most important thing is to delegate time to it mm -hmm. because the tendency that I've felt is, uh, okay, the person's gone, we figured it out, what's next? Mm -hmm. What really what's next is to go around one by one if need be or group by group and share at a sort of uh, open level, authentic level, why you made this tough decision. Mm -hmm. Firing someone who's way underperforming and not coming to work is easy. Firing someone who's poured their heart and soul into your startup is hard. And people are gonna wanna know that it was not done lightly and that you know, the, the CEO is feeling the impact of this and nonetheless had to go forward. Mm -hmm. So if you put it in the context of like, this was a hard decision, but we had to do it to get to the next level, then people start to understand. And so you almost go person to person <clears throat> and do that? Yeah, person to person for the most, uh, for senior leaders and certainly team to team for the people mm -hmm. that th that person, the teams that person worked with. For the most part, you, I have to be the one to go out to them mm -hmm. and explain what was happening mm -hmm. and explain why. And obviously, one, you can't, you can't denigrate the person who's left and you can't make it seem like a negative thing. It really is a tough choice. If you don't follow up and loop back to the people who are directly affected by the decision that you made, they feel like you, they assume that you don't care. Mm -hmm. or they assume that you made the wrong choice or they assume that you were frivolous in this because oftentimes they don't see all the one-on-one, -on -one. they don't see all the months of preparation that went up to this decision. Right.